The world has changed a lot in the last 200 years. Our ways of communicating and completing all sorts of daily tasks have been made easier by the machines we've created. We have revolutionized our daily lives through mechanization and programming to develop faster and more efficient ways to do just about anything. In these videos, we'll explore how far humans have come in the design and use of the modern day computer. We're also going to give you a crash course in writing code and using the Blocks programming tool powered by Google's Blockly programming language. FTC Blocks is integrated into the first Tech Challenge Android robot controller app, providing an intuitive and easy to use method to program a competition robot. I know it sounds like a lot, heck, it's a lot to say, but we've broken it out into a series of quick videos, each one delving deeper into these topics. So let's get started. Our hope is that these videos help introduce you to the world of robotics and how far it's come with the goal of making it easier to learn how to program with a tool like FTC Blocks. Ultimately, we want you to be able to use FTC Blocks to program a robot in autonomous mode. Great. So we've come a long way from one of the first proposed computing ideas, the analytical engine. That's right. Way back in 1837, the analytical engine was proposed by mathematician Charles Babbage as a steam-powered, mechanical, general-purpose computer. And it was programmed in collaboration with Ada Lovelace, right? Exactly right. Lovelace was the first person to publish an algorithm intended to be carried out by this general-purpose computer. The concept of this early computer and the work that Babbage and Lovelace contributed are the basis of modern computing as we know it today. Several designs were created from this concept, but we didn't have a lot of movement again until 1936, when a British computer scientist and mathematician named Alan Turing introduced the notion of a general purpose machine capable of using a limited set of instructions to produce an infinite variety of things. The central concept of all modern computers is based on Turing's idea. Wow, that's neat. Yeah. Turing was kind of a big deal. Later, his ideas about a general purpose machine were used during World War II when Turing's bomb machine was utilized by British intelligence to aid in decoding German messages. Wow, really? Yeah, computers are awesome tools. So, from there, we moved on to building a giant room-sized electronic numerical integrator and computer, or ENIAC for short, in around 1945. And the ENIAC is basically what we have now, right? Like a PC or laptop? Just way, way bigger? No, not really. There was a combination of plug boards and switches for programming instead of using a stored program. The hardware was different, and the ENIAC could only run one program at a time, but the foundational ideas behind this technology were basically the same. I can't imagine taking a selfie with an ENIAC. Where's the camera, even? How would I get it to Instagram? <laughs> it's important to highlight the history of software. For that, we go to 1957, when the first compiled computer language, Fortran, was created. This program was designed by John Backus at IBM and was used for scientific and mathematical computation. That's right. And then we move forward to the creation of the C programming language. In 1975, we have the invention of the modern personal computer where cost and size made this machine marketable to the masses. And laptops, we can't forget about laptops. And now we have increasingly more powerful, portable computing options, including smartphones and tablets. And of course, we can't forget about Java. I'm assuming you mean Java the programming language, right? Meaning I probably shouldn't make some dumb coffee joke right here? No, you shouldn't. And I'm proud of you for resisting the urge to make a coffee joke. Java is the most deployed programming language in the world. 
Java is a big deal. And finally, FTC Blocks is a tool that simplifies the process of programming a robot by presenting a graphical toolkit of pick and choose operations that you can use to define actions within software or moving parts on the physical robot you're creating. So, First Tech Challenge teams can use FTC Blocks to program their robots autonomous mode for the game each year. That's cool! We'll be showing you how later in this series of videos. So as you can see, we've really come a long way from the early computing options we had to where we are today. That's right. Thanks for watching and learning about the history of computing with us. In the next video, we'll take a deeper dive into computational thinking. Until, Until next time, everyone. everyone.